What's up all my friends on YouTube, it's Texan back, bringing you a brand new gameplay. This is Slums, this is Hardpoint, and it is League Play. And I will actually be talking about this game today. Usually I say this is not what I'll be talking about today, but this is what I'll be talking about today. I'll be trying to give you an idea of really how to play League Play, and Hardpoint in particular. Because Hardpoint is a lot of strategy and a lot of rotation. And I will tell you right off the bat, we started on the good spawn, and we did really bad, and we lost the good spawn real quick. Because they had a guy that rotated through that blue building over there, we'll call it blue building, and he rotated through there, got behind us. He got that spawn back there, which is where the next hard point will be. So right off the bat, we started poorly. So I'll be, I'll be telling you about what the things we did right, the things we did wrong. I am playing with my brother, Cooper Drummer. Uh, our friend HK Holzer, Alex, and a random person on our team. And right there, I'm just trying to get back to where that guy was camping back in the left there. Because that is where uh, you anchor for this hard point. Anchor is where you are uh, holding back where your team will spawn in the most ideal spot for that hard point. So for. So usually you'll have three people around the hard point and one anchor, which is, I mean, he's still near the hard point, but he's protecting, uh, protecting the spawn and making sure that y'all are able to get back to the hard point quickly. Which I'm not always the anchor in this game. Typically, if you're actually a team of four people, you will have one designated anchor that is, that's the best, uh, that's the best person that will anchor and can hold down a spot knows how to do it. But in this game, I think me and my brother rotate anchors. We uh, we just try to pick it up. There's no real... It wasn't the most structured, but but it can still be commentated about and uh, talked about what we did wrong and all this. And so you saw that two people on our team had already left the hard point, which it should have been three people. I, I should have pushed up or something. And that way we could have, uh, you know, tried to push anchor, which anchor on this hill is, actually the next two hills, is right there. Right by that statue area. And they were able to pick me off before I got there and got anchor for the team. But we still got decent spawns. We spawned right here, which is right by anchor. And you saw Zombie Assassin, I believe that's his name, spawn back there. That's where you want your team to be spawning on this hill. Allows you to get there quickly and allows you to uh, keep the spawn, which we lost because uh, I think we had too many people push the hard point and I think our anchor got taken out. So at this point their team's trying to rotate to the next hill which they end up doing and we end up dying so now we have control of this for a few seconds which Casey shouldn't have even really gone after that because it was only two seconds left he should have been pushing for anchor but it didn't happen they have control of this hard point again and they are just eating the uh, the seconds away, so it's not going so great. And now they have that sentry gun, which my sole purpose of running over here is to destroy that. I want my team to be able to push through there and be able to take it out. I do die, but that's perfectly fine with me because I took out the main obstacle in our way of getting back to that hard point and getting control. Which typically, uh, EMP grenades are wonderful in league play, but trophy systems are also wonderful. Especially if you have a, uh, if anybody on your team has a sentry gun set up, you want that sentry gun protected. So you want uh, EMP grenades for sure. I mean trophy systems for sure. And you also, so I mean, having a few classes set up, you know, at least one with an EMP grenade, at least one with a trophy system is really ideal. And really will bring you the best results. Which, I mean, public matches, you probably never used a trophy system because in public matches, it's pretty much pointless to have a trophy system. But in league play, it's the strategy improves and uh, all that picks up. And I'm trying to push back to the right again. I'm pushing through blue, trying to pick up this kill. I do terrible against that guy. I get the first guy, though. Now my whole idea is to get down there. I do get picked off. There's a guy that happens to be right there. But I really want to get back there and get our team anchor and get our team the good spawn for this. We do have control, so so that's going well. I'll I'll throw down a trophy in a second and try to protect uh, protect our team in case any nades or EMP 
pea grenades go flying up there. And I see the guy in anchor. I try to kill him. Wasn't able to do it. But uh, I believe I'll just keep pushing down there probably. I imagine because that's really pretty important to get there. Have the hard point. And so our team's rotating. We should have rotated a little earlier, but hard we are pretty up. set up right now. We got four people coming in. I almost am able to pick this guy off, which I did not see him in the corner at all for a while. Hard point locked down. But they maintain anchor because hard of that, which puts us in a bad position because now we have to push down here. Get this guy, and then I wasn't going to push, but I see our guy on the left, two guys on the left, push down. So at that point, you... We knew that there was only going to be one person left in there because we had killed the other three. And so I needed to push down the right-hand side so at least one of us, one, one of us three, would pick him off and be able to get control of that hard point. And I'm just moving now to uh, try to get anchor for the next one, which, as I've said before, that is the uh, statue area over here. Well, statue's kind of in the middle, I guess. This is the fountain area over here. So I'm trying to pick people off on the hard point around the hard point. And I know that they're going to have a guy over here on the uh, on the fountain, but I'm not really going to look at him yet. Just because I want to pick a few other people off. Saw him, his legs there, and there's that guy. And our Casey comes over, picks him off. And now we are set up in anchor. Hopefully maintaining spawn. We both do push, so that will give us a chance to lose spawn. And I do pick that guy off, so not really sure how it went off. Yeah, we lost. We lost anchor. Uh, no, we kind of lost anchor. I mean, that's still a really good spawn for for losing anchor, I guess. But that is not dying the second time will put you in a bad situation, I guess. And so I'm. You see two of our teammates are on the right. I don't know why three are pushing here. I was My main idea was just to get over here and uh, pick off the guys that were going to be over here. Try to get them off anchor as well. Which I ended up helping get him off anchor, but I died by that. But because Casey was able to pick him off, I believe that was Casey. We had anchor and we got the good spawn. So now we're trying to mount a comeback. We're trying to play a little smarter. And uh, definitely gain some points here while the game's still going. Got four people around the hard point, which is not a good idea. I don't know why we were doing that. That's one thing that we should not have been doing. I should have been hanging out by the little fountain back there, I guess. And did it again. And now there's 15 seconds left, so I'm trying to get up. To where I can pick a few people off that are going to be at the fountain, which I've not used my hard or my hellstorm yet because you have to really use your uh, hellstorm wisely. Right now, I'll be using it because I don't get anybody, but I do get them off the hill, which that was my main purpose: get them off the hill so we can pick up a few kills real quick because we know where they are. And so for hellstorms, you don't want to use them as soon as you, or for kill streaks, you don't want to use them as soon as you get them. You want to use them at the most ideal, you know, hard point for you, or most ideal time and capture the flag or something like that. When you're trying to play defense, they they grab the flag. You want to use it to get the guy that grabbed the flag, or in this case, you want to use them on an open, uh, open hard point where you can definitely uh, definitely help out a lot. And you typically would want to use it to break the hard point if, if they've had control of it for a while. Or if um, it, it allows you to have your four people maintain the, uh, the last hard point if the next one's kind of close. And then you can use it to, to break the next one so that you can, uh, you can gain control of it real fast afterwards. That way you can pick up as many points as possible and then get as many points as the next one. That one, I don't, they must have had a trophy or something down there because that didn't even explode. Don't know how it didn't kill or hurt anybody. But uh, as you can see, we've taken control with not that many seconds left. It was definitely not the best, uh, the best way of showing anchoring, but it showed you what to do, what not to do. Like right now, we still don't have anchor on this hill, but now that you know where the anchor is and what you probably should do to 
keep anchor. Hopefully this will help you uh, if you're playing League Play later on. This video is wrapping up though, so I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe below and YouTube. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.